Is InVideo AI free to use? But if you look at videos from gurus that tell you to use it, you would think it is completely for free. So let's see what you get with the free versus the paid version of InVideo AI. First, for those who don't understand what InVideo AI is, it is a tool that creates video from prompt. You can give it a very short prompt and you will get a very generic video, or you can give it a more detailed prompt and you will get a better video. If you let the AI do all the work for you, it will be very generic and sometimes contain false facts. The AI generates a video by first creating the script. Then it generates an AI voice to narrate the video. With version 2.0, you can have up to six AI voices in one video that switch. Then it chooses video clips that match the text in the script. It does not create videos from AI, so you are safe from weird sick fingers or monster eyes, like other AI-generated content. It just chooses the most accurate video clips from good video library based on keywords in the script. It also generates subtitles on the screen and adds background music from audio libraries. It does not create the music with AI, so you are safe from copyright issues. More on that, in the video about music in InVideo. You can manipulate all these elements while you write the prompt for the AI. To help you achieve this, you can use the prompt generator they have on the first page. After that, you get a video that you can make simple changes to with the AI or by yourself. I explained everything in details on my channel, so find it in the playlist of InVideo AI. You can find the link in the description. Now for the question of what you get for free and what you need to pay for. You can sign up for free without adding the credit card and you can use it for free forever if you wish. But as with everything free, there are limits. The big one is that when you export the video from InVideo, you get the InVideo AI logo on all of the videos. Some of the video clips will also have the logos from the library they came from. You also have only 10 minutes per week to create videos. For exporting, you get four exports per week. So if you need to change something in the video after you export it, you are limited to four exports per week. After that, you can't export any video until the next week. The good news is that you can create 16 videos a month with 10 minutes each week and four exports, which is four videos a week. Of course, I wouldn't count on it if I wanted to create a YouTube channel as a business because I don't like to have the InVideo logo on all of my videos. It is not professional. You can export the video in HD, but you can't get it in 4K for free. There is also a limit with stock videos. You can't use iStock videos at all. This is just for paying members. Fortunately, you don't really need it, the iStock, because there are plenty of other video stock you can use. For the music, you can use premium music. Just make sure to whitelist your YouTube channel so you won't get copyright claim. I explained that in the video about the music. You have 10 gigabytes for storage. The storage is for uploading videos and images if you want to use your own. You can't upload music at all. Two more limits are that if you want to use your own clone voice, you can't. There are only the voices of the AI that come with InVideo. And you can't add more users to your account. In a paid option, you can have other people use the account as well, allowing them to create videos for you. They can get their own password and username, which is useful if, if you want your team to create videos for you without sharing the InVideo account credential. For the paid option, you can see you get a discount if you pay yearly, which is nice. However, not everyone wants to pay for the whole year upfront, and you have the monthly payment also. Then there are two plans. Basically, you pay more for more minutes generated each month. For the plus plan which costs 25 a month you get one user 50 minutes and unlimited export so the maximum number of videos you can generate is 50 because even if you generate a video that is less than a minute it counts one minute of course you can generate longer video if you wish and get fewer video per month some other things you get with a plus plan you can use 80 pieces of video clips from iStock video you get 100 gigabytes of storage for your uploads and you can use 
use the clone voice for two voices. If you want more minutes, you can adjust the number of users, which will give you more minutes per month. The difference between the max and the plus plan is how many minutes you get every month. And there are some additional features for each of the other things. If you want to know how much you've spent for your limitations, click on your profile image and go to the user page. Here you can see how much you've generated and when it will start again. By the way, if you didn't use a minute of your plan in one month, it will reset it in the next month. So if you are in the paid plan, use all of your monthly minutes to make the best out of your plan. Next, you can see the iStock usage, the exports if you are on the free plan and the storage. So you know how much you still have on all the time. If you have plus or max plan and you pay for more users, then click on members and then on the plus button to invite others to use the platform. In the workspace setting, you can set who should see the same videos and share the videos you created with others. You can also change the visibility for, of your exports video here if you are on the paid plan. If you want to upgrade, click on the upgrade button or you can click here in the subscription tab on the button to add your credit card. If you want to cancel the subscription, you need to go to the right menu and click on FAQ section. There, look for the chat option. Open a conversation and let them know that you want to cancel. They don't have a refund policy. So if you pay them, you can't get your money back. However, they won't charge you for the next payment and you can use InVideo until your current subscription period ends. In my opinion, you should experiment with the prompts and see if the video generated can work for you. If the answer is yes, then pay for the subscription as for your usage need. If not, then don't. Because you can try the tool with almost all of its features before committing. If you want to learn more about how to use InVideo AI, click on the video on the screen now, subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next video.